Don't forget to check out the website, guys. Be sure to buy yourself some of my awesome merch to rock up to the car boots in. And also check out the helpful guides and blog posts. Ha <laughs>Hi guys it's Adam and welcome to my latest auction haul. So obviously over the past few weeks I've been going through um, a few of the things that I've been picking up from my most recent auction um, and yeah I've gone through toys and books and ceramics and stuff like that. Um, I am going to have to make this my penultimate video, so there'll probably be one more video after this one. Not because I'm getting to the end of the auction haul, unfortunately, but because I actually need to dedicate some time to photographing and listing this stuff, and I've just not got the time to do any more videos on it, unfortunately. I've probably got enough to do maybe another four videos on it, but I, I am going to have to sort of cut myself off there I love doing the videos on it, I love sharing the stuff with you guys and that's part of the problem because obviously I can be spending a lot of time doing you know half an hour haul videos, you know you can soon rack up four or five videos and, and you've put quite a lot of time into it and um, you know obviously I need to spend some more time actually um, listing these items. So I hope you understand the next video will be um, obviously the, the final video in this kind of auction haul series. If you haven't checked out any of the other videos um, over the past few weeks then you may want to do that. I've kind of been trying to make them flow a little bit. I don't know whether that's um, particularly worked out too well, um, but I've tried to make them flow a little bit. Now in this uh, video I've got two separate lots. So in the other videos I've kind of done it pretty much lot by lot um, but when I was going through this particular box I realized that it was like a mishmash of a few different lots so I can't really attribute a specific lot cost to these items here but what I have done of course is done some research on eBay and I will be telling you what I hope to get back on eBay in terms of sales value from the items I've got here. We've got quite a lot of World Dalton stuff and it's pretty much all ceramics today. I think we've got one piece of glassware. So with that being said, we will not talk about it any longer and I will actually let the items do the talking for you. And uh, yeah, I will uh, give you a look at the first item. So first off, we've got this uh, nice little piece of glassware where here. Um, it's actually Watford Crystal. Now, I don't know whether I've had Watford Crystal in the past. I've certainly heard of it. Um, you can see in this little shield style label here, it says Watford Crystal. Uh, nice little item, this. Now, when I saw it in the box, I thought to myself, oh, it's probably just one of those standard pieces. It's probably, I'm probably going to struggle to get around a tenner for it. Um, but then I picked it up and I saw, oh, there's a bit of weight in that. It might be decent. Turned it round, saw that little sticker on there and thought, yeah, there's going to be a bit more than a tenner in it at least. So I went on eBay thinking, I don't know, I, don't, I, I, I suppose I was kind of thinking it would be maybe 20, 25, maybe a little bit more. But I was, I was kind of thinking, oh, I, I wonder what the value is. I'm assuming it's probably going to be around that. And uh, I look it up and I can't see it on eBay, this exact one anyway, when I typed it in. But I could see in a very, very similar style to this, um, a larger vase that was on, uh, same, obviously same company, uh, that was on for 55 quid. Now that isn't sold. And then there was like a blue um, vase, I don't know how big it was, I don't know whether it was a bit bigger than this one or similar size, that had sold for 20 quid. So... I'm thinking to myself, there's none of these particularly on except that larger one for 55 quid. I'm thinking of going maybe 25 quid plus my postage on this. And if I need to come down a little bit, then I'll be happy to come down. But I'd rather go in a little bit higher at first um, than I maybe was originally thinking. And uh, yeah, you know, I'll uh, go in at 25 quid plus my postage and we will see on that one. But it's quite nice because it's a little bit better quality than some of the more standard ones that, that don't normally have a mark um, on on these kind of vases um, but yeah so I quite like that it's quite interesting so next we've got something fairly standard here but it's still fairly nice for what it is I suppose it's this like little ceramic fruit basket I would I would assume oh no actually it's more actually yeah it's got I was thinking it was a fruit basket but actually it's probably for flowers isn't it I'm just thinking you probably 
lay your flowers in there, maybe. I don't know, I suppose you could use it for both in, in one regard, really. But, um, yeah, it just maybe it actually seems a little bit low, that handle for a fruit basket or something. So it might be more for flowers. Um, but actually, this is HJ Wood Limited, Burslem, uh, England, hand-painted, you can see on the back there. Um, and, you know, a few of these uh, very similar ones have gone for around a tenner. I'm thinking on this one, because I didn't see this exact one on, I'm thinking I might go either $12.99 or $14.99 plus my postage. And if I need to come down to a tenner, then I will do. Um, but I think I've sold similar ones of these. Maybe not from the exact maker, but similar ones of these for around the $12.99 plus postage. So, yeah, you know, I'm thinking of going about around that and uh, hopefully I should get that. But that's that one there anyway. Right, so I'll go through these kind of, I suppose they're uh, European figures. I'll go through these quite quickly. We've got maybe two or three of these. Um, I don't know who these are, whether they're meant to be anyone specific or whether they're just meant to be random figures. Um, you can see in here there's some sort of number down here. Um, now, as I say, I'm assuming that these are just sort of uh, European figures, maybe Eastern European figures or something. Um, but, you know, they're not going to be particularly valuable. Maybe I'll put them on at maybe a tenner a piece or something. Or I might, you know, if I do some research and it turns out that maybe one of these numbers or one of these marks are actually indicates that there were something decent then i'll put them on for more than that i think i've i think uh i've put some like uh european figures on in the past for around 14.99 plus postage and that seems to sit quite well with certain ones um certainly like the slightly lesser quality ones um and i did i actually sold some pretty quick i think i sold uh like a few eastern ones in Maybe a couple of weeks or something from listing them. So maybe about that fourteen ninety nine is right for certain figures. But yeah, so there's that one there anyway. There's this one here, uh, which is a glazed figure here. Uh, quite nice, but there's no mark or anything on it. So don't know with that one really. But I don't know. Is this? No, this one isn't the same actually. This is different. Um, and then there's this one here as well. Uh, a little figure of a woman there. And it says, is it CH? Might be like the country of origin or something. That C H or C R or something, or C N C N. Maybe I don't know. It looks like C H to me, but I'm not sure. But yeah, that's those there anyway. Um, I don't think they're anything special really. They don't look it to me anyway. Um, so yeah, I'd probably just put them on for a standard range. Do a little bit of research into into them, of course. Um, but yeah, that's those. Next, we've got this nice little quaint uh, Royal Dalton lady figure. Um, this is uh, Royal Dalton HN3174 Southern Bell. You can see that on there. You might want to pause the video. I don't know whether that's focusing in brilliantly, but you should be able to see it somewhat anyway. Um, I'm thinking around 15 quid. Um, there's a couple on for like 20, 22 quid. But the highest I think one sold for is 15 quid. So um, I think I'd rather shoot for around the sold level than just unnecessarily go too high. I might go 17 99 18 99 something like that. But I wouldn't want to go 22 and it just sit forever and ever and ever. So I might go like in between the highest sold price and then the... Uh, one of the lowest listing prices, so you may you may be like 18, 19 quid, something like that. Um, but like 15 is top of what it sold for, so yeah, that's that one there anyway. It's quite a nice little figure. I'm guessing they might have done a bigger one of these as well. Sometimes they do the miniature versions and then the bigger versions of the same figure, um, but I'm not sure. But if they did do a bigger version of this figure, I bet it's worth something decent anyway, so that's that one. Next, something, something pretty standard, won't spend too much time on it. It's this Ainsley Pembroke uh, design or pattern. Um, really, really standard Ainsley design. Probably going to shoot for about a tenner plus postage. That's probably going to be top end. I might be able to get, like, squeeze a little bit more out of it, but I'd be waiting, to be honest, if I, if I did. Um, you know, a lot of this Ainsley stuff goes very, very cheap on auction. Um, so... I'm just going to hope that if I put it on buy it now with a few decent photos, nice uh, padded out keyword title, I could maybe get a bit more than, than the ones that have obviously gone for really, really cheap on auction. Um, so yeah, that's that one there anyway, nothing special. So next we've got a bit of an odd number of these plates actually. We've got five plates here. I believe they're soup plates. They're like the soup plates that are a little bit 
kind of shallow but but large so you know ones i mean like this opposed to like soup bowls that are more like um i don't know very deep but kind of short but these are like the the shallow and long ones you know what you get where you get these you get these in slightly more upmarket restaurants you know where they do like loads of um you know cutlery either side so you have like uh i've been to them occasionally you know i'm not posh or anything but i've been to them occasionally and um yeah if you have like you know four different knives and then you're like oh crap how do i do this and then you think no don't worry you work inwards, I've got it, you know, I know, I know my stuff, you know, and then also, when you do, yeah, it made me sound like I'm posh doing this, but I'm not trying to sound posh, you just know etiquette, right, and then when you do your soup, don't you like, scoop, like, when you've got soup, you do this with your spoon, like, backwards, like, back on yourself, and then you do that, and then you don't, I don't, I don't think you, like, put it in your mouth like that. You do, like, a little tip of your spoon and then, like, it kind of goes... Like... Anyway, I don't know. I've not done etiquette for ages. So, I mean, no elbows on the table and all that sort of stuff. And also, the other one is when you're... Oh, what is it? When you do... When you have, like, a little sauce pot, aren't you meant to, like, tip it away from you or something when you scrape it? I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, I'm not very good at etiquette. So this is uh, Mason's Regency pattern, if I actually get on with the whole, whole video now. Uh, this is Mason's Regency pattern, randomly a set of five, well not really a set of five, but randomly five plates. Um, doesn't seem to be a pattern in Mason's that is phenomenal at all. Um, I don't quite know how much I'm going to get on the five. Some of them are quite dirty. But the dirt is going to easily come off. I don't know whether you can see that there. It's dirt that's just... It's like kind of dust, really. Um, but, yeah, so... Don't quite know where I'm going to go on these. I think I saw, like, a set of four on auction go for eight or nine quid plus, like, seven quid postage or something. Obviously, that was auction. So, maybe on the five, I might go, like, 20 quid plus post and see if I get that might need to come down a little bit, I'm not sure, but I'll probably just go around that. I think there was six plates that had gone for a little bit more, but again, I think that was on auction and not buy it now. So obviously I'm going to charge a little bit more if I if I go on buy it now. But yeah, that's those. Unfortunately, I was kind of hoping these would be worth more than they are because them being masons and stuff, but it just shows, you know, not all like masons and stuff, or not all of the same kind of makers are going to be valuable, as we're probably all aware, you know, certain things from even, like, the best makers might not just be valuable, you know, so, um, that's those anyway there. So, next, we've got this rather nice, uh, little teapot. Now, oh no, oh no, I've just, I've just spotted that it looks like it's been restored, which is really annoying. Can you see that? I don't know whether you can see it. This is happening live on air here, well, not on air, but, you know, live on camera. Can you see that there? Looks like it's been restored. Anyway, bit of a shame that I will probably still sell it because it comes in this little set. There's also, there is a little bit of restoration on one of the other things that I'll grab in a sec. So with it, it's got its little uh, tea cup, cup and saucer, kind of like a miniature tea cup there. Uh, we've got the sugar bowl, which again there has some restoration down there. Quite clear to see really. But to be honest, it's not, like, the worst restoration I've ever seen. It's not the best either, but it's not, like, the worst one. Um, and then we've got this, like, tiny little milk jug, I suppose this is here. Um, so, yeah, a bit of a shame for that restoration. Now, this is... I think it, it was quite hard to find this pattern, actually, but it, it was the Indian tree pattern or something like that anyway. Now, this brand here, or this, well, this makers, I should say, not brand... But this uh, maker's here, Hammers, Hammersley, I, I know it's not really doing brilliant in terms of focusing in, let's... No, it's not going to focus in very well. Um, but Hammersley, it's H-A-M-M-E-R-S-L-E-Y, Hammersley and Co. Um, some of these teapots do really well, really well. Like, I have to mention this, because this is really good information. I was looking on Complete and Solds, just randomly at different teapots just to try and find this set my god there was like one teapot that went for a hundred quid there was another one that went for like 86 quid there was like a small little set like one teapot and then like maybe a sugar bowl or something and maybe something else with it that went for like 239 quid but like it was crazy so some of this hammersley stuff 
good money. I don't know whether that's just at the moment. I'm assuming maybe it's just taking off a little bit at the moment, last few years or something, I'm not sure. Um, and maybe it'll kind of settle down in a few week, few years. Um, but yeah, the moment seems to be a pretty decent maker to look out for. But unfortunately, you know what I'm going to say, this specific pattern doesn't seem to be worth a lot of money. I was hoping that this little set here, you know, the teapot, the little cup and saucer, the sugar bowl and the milk jug, I'd be looking at maybe 20 to 30 pounds, something like that back, plus my postage. But now I've seen that, and obviously that was accounting for maybe the, the, rest of, the little bit of restoration in, in the uh, sugar pot there. But now there's also restoration being done to the teapot that I've seen. It's now making me think, should I price a little bit lower than that? So I might need to just uh, readjust my pricing on that. But it is a shame that this wasn't one of the really valuable things, because I looked at the complete and sold and I was like I was getting really excited I was thinking yeah this is going to be big money and uh, yeah unfortunately it just wasn't so yeah it just it just goes to show again like I was saying with the mason stuff even though you know you might get something from a, a, a maker that is really doing well at the moment it doesn't mean to say that that specific pattern or that specific sort of design of uh, ceramic or glassware or whatever will be doing well so yeah you know bit of a shame with that one um but you know i'll still i'll still sell it despite the you know despite the damage and stuff and uh, i'll get a little bit of money back for it uh, from it at least so next we are on to a load of world dalton and other character jugs uh, now i got told this was ages ago so don't know whether I'm remembering this knowledge right or anything, but basically it's only a very little bit of a nugget of information. You know what we should do? You know what I should do? I should do in Photoshop a little, like, a graphic, and then I have, like, something that pops up, like, whenever I have, like, a nugget of information to share. So, say, like, ads nuggets or something like that. I don't know whether that sounds... Yeah, that doesn't sound that bad, does it? I'm just thinking if that could be an innuendo or something, or a euphemism for something. But no, it doesn't really, it's not that bad. So yeah, we could have like ads nuggets flashes on the screen now or something when I, when I want to do a little nugget of information. So, character jugs, right? Character jugs and Toby jugs. What I got taught ages ago is that a character jug is one that you have the face here, right? And then you have the handle at the side. You know, it's usually this side here. So you have the face on here and then the handle at the side. And then Toby jugs are the ones where you have the face here and then the handle at the back. But yeah, you know, I think I think that's right. I think that information is right. So you've got the handle there and then the face there for a character jug. Toby jug, face there, handle at the back. Pretty cool. So then you know how to describe them on eBay, because then you know that this is a character jug. Another one would be a Toby jug. However, what a lot of people do these days is put character and Toby in the title, so that then we've got a little bit more exposure on the platform, you know, in terms of searches that people are running. Um, so yeah, anyway, this is the Royal Dalton Gone Away D6531, um, is the number on the bottom there. Uh, little character jug. Now I was thinking, oh, it's a nice big jug, this might be worth about 30 quid, something like this. But when I was looking on eBay, my God, have these like character jugs and stuff. I don't know whether they've gone down quite a lot in the last few years, but when I was working at the auction house, you'd get more money for, for these character jugs than, than these days. Like, my God, it, like it's ridiculous. So... Yeah, I don't know, maybe we have gone down in the last year or two or something, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm going to be lucky to squeeze tw uh, 20 quid out of this guy. And as I say, it's a big character jug, it's a big old jug here. Um, and I swear, like, years ago, you could get way more than that for one of these. I mean, I don't know what the retail were on these, but they were way more than 20 quid, I could say that. So... Yeah, bit of a shame that, but yeah, gonna squeeze 20 quid out of him, um, you know, if possible. There has been maybe one or two other ones that have sold for even less, so 20 quid is like the top end. Um, so yeah, that's that one there anyway. Next, we've got this guy. This is like the medium scale version of him. I think there's a larger version and a smaller version going off the information I had on solds. This is, what a lovely title there, Fat Boy. Oh my god, terrible. Anyway... Um, so, 
this little guy here, I think I'm going to roughly get around a tenner for him. At least that's what I was thinking I'd go. And again, it's going to be kind of one of those that I might have to wait on even for a tenner. So, yeah, I, I would have hoped there would be a bit more money in these character jugs, but alas, there just isn't. So, yeah, it's maybe one of those markets that has kind of gone downhill over the last few years or something. I don't know. People down below, maybe comment what your experiences with them are. If you've been um, involved with antiques and collectibles for the last 10 years, 20 years or so, maybe you'll know better than me what the kind of markets have been doing for these, whether, you know, over the last 10 years they have gone down quite a lot, whether they, um, you know, have always been not so great. But I swear that a few years ago these were a bit better than they are now. So, yeah. Bit of a shame on that one. This one is the smaller version of that one. Say at uh, this Gone Away, it's a smaller version of the Gone Away. I'm just thinking now, actually, should I maybe bundle these two together? That bit large Gone Away and then this small Gone Away, I'm not sure. But if I don't bundle it together, again, I'm probably going to try and squeeze a tenner out of this one. Um, and, yeah, that'll have to do for this one, really. Um, if I bundle it up, maybe I could get a little bit of added value. If I, As I say, if I bundle the pair together, I'm not sure. But um, I'll see what I do. Maybe I'll bundle them up. But that's that one there. The uh, Jester, this is the Royal Dalton, the Jester here, um, and yeah, it's quite a nice one, this one, seems to go for around 15 to 20, so that's not as bad, because as you can see, it's quite small anyway for what it is, so 15 to 20 quid, I'm, I'm a bit happier with that one, um, so yeah, 50, hopefully 15 to 20 quid on that one, uh, quite a cool one, um, you can see there, um, I don't know why it's worth maybe a little bit more than the other ones. Maybe it's just more appealing to people, that design, uh, the Jester design. But yeah, that's that one there anyway. And then we've got a character, Lancaster, Sadland, hand-painted Hanley, England. Uh, now, I, it, yeah, I don't know what the actual character here on this one is. It says character, and then it sa says the name of the company, which is Lancaster... Sa sad sandland sandland um but i just typed in like lancaster sandland and then pirate and then it came up so um it seems that actually this one i'll be able to get between 10 and 15 for so although it's only a very small little a little jug here um you know pretty happy with that 10 to 15 quid so um because i was thinking to myself oh this one probably won't be worth even a tenner so yeah pretty happy with that one so i'm probably gonna go i'll either go um I think I'll maybe go twelve ninety nine plus postage on that, something like that. So yeah, that's that one there. So these ones are very, very small, probably not worth a lot of money at all, really. I have done a bit of research on these. There might be a couple of them I might try and squeeze a tenner free postage out of. But also there might be a couple that I might just decide to whack on auction, like starting at four ninety nine plus my postage or something like that, and get them turned over quite quickly, um, because these ones are just very, very small ones. This is a small version of the Beef Eater. I think there is a larger version of this one, um, because I think, I think I might have seen this at the auctions, actually, like the larger version of this one, but that's that one there. These are all miniature ones, of course. This is Old Charlie. Um, even the larger version of this one doesn't seem to go for that much, so the smaller version, what, the smaller version, doesn't go for hardly anything. Uh, next, we've got one that I actually don't know the name of because there's no name on there. Um, maybe if I typed in A5, Royal Dalton A5, maybe something would come up for that. Um, but that's that one there anyway. Um, and then we've got uh, Rip Van Winkle. Again, doesn't seem to be much because obviously these are the miniature ones. I'm sure there are some character jugs and stuff of the miniature ones or even of the larger ones that go for fantastic money still um but the ones that we've got here today just don't seem to go for that much money um but i do think that a lot of them probably aren't worth a lot of money these days um so yeah that's those there anyway um i wasn't suspecting the miniature ones to go for tons of money anyway but certainly those uh, a few of the larger ones or slightly larger ones or medium ones I would have thought they might be worth a little bit more than they currently are, but that's the way it goes anyway. So, I think that's everything. I don't think there's anything else to share with you. I thought I would finish on those jugs there. So, with that being said, guys, I will leave it there. We're getting to close to 30 minutes now, so I better end this here. Um, and, yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. 
If you like video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions or queries about anything you've seen here today, about the channel in general or whatever, then just whack those down below. And uh, yeah, I will leave it there. So I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.